As I'm recording this, it's Saturday, July 19th. We're two days away from the summer solstice and there's lots to be looking forward to uh, this summer. I, we've got massive vaccines uh, going into arms across the country. Uh, patios are opening up, restrictions are being lifted, COVID cases are dropping. Things are looking really, really good. Um, there has been a, a pretty significant shift in the markets as a result of a lot of the things that are going on. And what I tend to be seeing in the market and what's supported by the article that we've attached here um, is that there is a cooling of the of the real estate market um, across the GTA, um, not affecting all markets, but affecting a lot of them. What we're tending to see uh, is that there continues to be a pretty good uh, influx of inventory coming onto the market but there seems to be fewer buyers that are actively out there. And I think that this is caused by a bunch of different factors. First of all, great weather, uh, patios are opened up, people are feeling a lot more comfortable and they're getting out more. I think that they're putting their, uh, their hobby of actually searching for real estate on hold for the time being. And so we've seen a few buyers back out of the market, at least temporarily uh, over the last couple of weeks. Now we've also seen, uh, as of June 1st, we saw the introduction uh, of, or the changes in the uh, stress test. Um, and that has also had an impact on uh, buyers in the market and price points that they're working at. Uh, and then finally, I, I just think that with COVID, uh, you know, starting to see some slowdowns, that we're getting some really good positive uh, feedback in terms of what's happening there. Um, that exodus from the city, those people um, that are leaving high-rise towers and coming into uh, detached homes here in the East End, uh, or that are leaving the city and buying in the periphery, they're maybe looking at Orangeville or Whitby, Pickering, Ajax, those areas, we're starting to see a little bit of a cool down there. Now, it's not to say that, you know, that we're into a balanced market. It is still a buyer's, um, it is still a a seller's market. There is still a lot of activity happening. There are multiple offers, but what we're finding is that the houses um, that maybe are a little bit less desirable, that have a couple of things that maybe don't quite match up with seller expectations, those houses are not selling quite as quickly. Um, in here in East York, we've seen a lot of homes miss their offer dates. Um, and we're seeing houses sitting on the market for just a little bit longer than they were before. So if you're in a position uh, where you're selling and you have a gem of a home, it's still a really good time to sell. Um, if you're a buyer and you've decided to put those plans on hold because things have been too crazy lately, it might be a really good opportunity for you to reassess that approach and take a look at maybe jumping in while everybody else is taking a pause. Hope you enjoy the article that's attached here. Have a great weekend. Um, looking forward to some more normalcy and getting back into uh, seeing some people in person. Have a great weekend. We'll talk to you soon.